Hi Leo, uh, Maya here, and this is your reading, uh, your monthly reading for April 2021. Sorry for being very late with these readings, but <laughs> it's been a hectic, mo hectic month, and um, I trust that when you come across it, it will be the right time for you. Um, so I always ask uh, Spirit for a vision uh, before turning on the camera and I got a vision for you, I'm going to explain it uh, quickly and then we'll get into your reading. Uh, so you're walking in a flea market and you found this beautiful uh, old mirror, uh, you know those beautiful old um, gilded uh, mirrors. Uh, so you took it home and uh, you looked into it and you saw that uh, it was, you know, uh, tainted and uh, it was really damaged uh, because of time and uh, you know uh, uh, the damage of time basically uh, so when you looked at, into it uh, your image of yourself was distorted you couldn't see yourself clearly right uh, but then you um, got the right material uh, you know the, the right equipment and um, you started taking care of it to uh, bring it back to its uh, be beauty, its its original beauty, and um, it became uh, really beautiful. You know, it retained this old feeling, this ancient feeling, but now you could see yourself in it. You could see clearly your own image in it. Um, so, if we extrapolate uh, the the the, sim the symbolism within this vision, it's like. You, it's like you stumble upon something that is very valuable. <clears throat> it's like you really stumble upon it, like you, you find it almost by chance. And it's a very, I see it as a very um, valuable aspect of yourself. Um, uh, a gift that you have or uh, a talent that you have, a hidden talent maybe, uh, you know, an ability. Uh, that you didn't know you had and um, by polishing it you know by uh, taking care of it by nurturing it uh, you uh, see yourself uh, more clearly than ever before in the past so it's like this this hidden uh, talent that you have or hidden gift that by nurturing it you really get to a beautiful version a very clear beautiful version of yourself so uh, let's start with the Celtic cross and see how this translates in your reading, all right? So, um, uh, sorry, uh, at the center of your reading you have the Four of Cups. <coughs> Crossed by the Ten of Cups. At your base, the Ace of Swords. Wow, this epiphany here. Crowning you, Judgment. In the recent past, uh, in the past, recent past, yes, <laughs> five of wands, near future, seven of swords. Uh, how you see yourself in the situation, the two of pentacles. Environment is the eight of pentacles. Your hopes and fears, the two of cups. And your outcome is the six of cups. So we'll clarify some of these, and uh, bottom of the deck you have the Ten of Wands. Um, so right at the center of your reading here, wow, uh, Leo, uh, you have the Four of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So the Four of Cups is really um, emotional dissatisfaction. It's, uh, you are, it's, um, you know, it's the sulky, uh, it's a sulky mode. It's when you... Uh, uh, we haven't had any um, anything to excite us for a while in our lives, and so we're stuck on the, uh, these past energies uh, represented by these three cups here. But there's a gift. There's this gift from the universe, something that was hidden from you, uh, like I saw in your vision, something that you don't know is there, but is absolutely being offered to you, but you're not seeing it in the beginning, like you couldn't see yourself in this uh, in this uh, mirror at first because uh, uh, of the distorted image you, you were seeing uh, because of the damage it had <clears throat> so you're not seeing this um, this gift at first this gift of the Ace of Cups uh, by the universe this gift of total emotional fulfillment something exciting something juicy that is there for you you can't see it because you're still in this um, 
sulky mood, this uh, emotional boredom, emotional dissatisfaction, right? But it's crossed with the Ten of Cups, so uh, something happens, um, like we saw in the vision, uh, that uh, leads you to your Ten of Cups, the happily ever after, the total emotional fulfillment. Uh, you know, it can be with uh, a person, a special person. It can be absolutely to do with a romantic relationships, uh, relationship because you have the Two of Cups as well. But since it's a general reading, if this, if this doesn't apply to you, uh, it can be uh, to do with any um, with home life, a happy home life, right? Uh, a happy home situation, a happy life situation, right? But in any case, you're going from uh, emotional dissatisfaction to total emotional fulfillment, happiness, joy, all this juicy uh, stuff of life, right? And um, at your base, you have the Ace of Swords. So this epiphany, this aha moment that you have, this breakthrough uh, that is akin uh, to a beautiful victory in life, this alignment that you get, uh, by uh, cleaning up, you know, by uh, getting the right equipment, equipment, nurturing and and um, cleaning uh, this uh, beautiful gilded mirror that you found uh, by chance. It's like really this this uh, it's unexpected. You know what I feel is you're going to uh, have this unexpected breakthrough, this download from the universe. Um, that really shows you a, a gift, a hidden gift or a hidden talent that you uh, didn't know you have, okay? And uh, so it brings this aha moment, you know, this is at your base, so it's bubbling up from uh, under the surface, from your subconscious, uh, and, and, and this can totally be it, you know, like you could be dreaming and, uh, and you get a download, uh, you know, uh, while sleeping, um, but it's like it's something that was lurking in your subconscious that you didn't know was there, you know, uh, by definition, because it's unconscious, unconscious. But then uh, there's this breakthrough, this aha moment that comes that absolutely aligns you with it. And this total alignment from the Earth Star Chakra here in this card all the way to the Crown Chakra. So this, uh, you know, this epiphany, this aha moment, this wow, yes, I get it, this breakthrough. In the mental body, air energy, and this new beginning, you know, uh, that is bubbling up from under the surface all the way to your crown. And look what's crowning you, uh, Leo. Judgment. Um, wow. Uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's, the, it's a resurrection card, right? It's... Um, judgment is, is, it does take a talk of, uh, you know, the proverb, proverbial... Um, judgment day so uh, these people are actually dead in their coffins and then uh, uh, Archangel Gabriel sounds the trumpet and they're uh, awake uh, for a new uh, incarnation a new resurrection Phoenix uh, rising up from the ashes uh, so again this feeling uh, that I got here at your center of this renewal in your emotional uh, body actually it's a renewal in your emotional body in your mental body and it's going to be uh, uh, you know um, spinning over into uh, your reality because it always things always start within and then they spill out right and so this you this getting out of this emotional boredom this um, um, uh, maybe also feeling jaded feeling bitter feeling um, uh, you know um, a little bit skeptic, a little bit uh, cynical about life, about love, about, you know, the excitement that you can have in life, you are absolutely leveling up in that to uh, this beautiful um, Ten of Cups here with all its emotional um, juice, its emotional, its, its power, its love, its excitement, enthusiasm about life again, you know, and it's coming up really from your base and all the way up to your crown, as I was saying here with this, uh, the Ace of Swords, and it's like a resurrection for you, uh, literally speaking, Leo. It's really uh, this uh, resurrection of um, 
faith in life, of excitement, of um, want this new day, right? Wanting to uh, engage with life again uh, once you find this hidden gift that you have in you. And this hidden gift could ju just also be, you know, this gift of life um, that is renewed inside of you, right? And uh, that is making you really want to engage now with life and uh, this uh, total resurrection, um, you know, rising up from the ashes, from your ashes. Uh, maybe you were in a very long cycle where you weren't feeling that life was, you know, you, and you absolutely were, because look at that, you have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, the end of a, a long cycle that was overwhelming, that was bending your back, uh, that wasn't um, conducive to any growth, that was just exhausting, and you're at the end of it, so you uh, really uh, are feeling the, you know, uh, the boredom, the the lack of motivation, the when will this be over, right? When uh, will I see um, a different day, a new day? And that's exactly what uh, you're getting to uh, here, Leo. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you're going to very soon, uh, you know, this destination is here in sight, very soon we'll be able to uh, let all this emotional baggage or whatever experiences were bending your back, this overwhelm, this lack of um, engagement with life because you're just too exhausted, you can't take it anymore. Um, you're very soon are going to be able to uh, let that go, leave this in the past, and this beautiful uh, breakthrough that happens in your subconscious leading you to a resurrection complete resurrection in your life in general and absolutely uh, getting to this place of emotional um, fulfillment and you will be able to see yourself uh, a new version of yourself absolutely Leo like in the vision uh, after attending to uh, this old gilded mirror uh, you were able to see uh, this clear vision of yourself um, to see yourself clearly in the mirror and uh, clearer than ever before, uh, if it's possible, right? And it is possible, uh, seeing as you're getting this big breakthrough. So in the recent past, you have the Five of Wands, so, um, uh, you know, a five, it's challenge, it's competition, it's flux, um, you can't win for trying, there's always something else happening, uh, petty, it's petty uh, energies, it's squabbling, it's fighting, uh, control, um, power struggles, you know, all this ego-based energy uh, that was really um, <clears throat> making you feel, you know, like that, like you had enough, you know, like the Ten of Wands and um, the Four of Cups, you had enough, uh, Leo, of this. Uh, so it, that was in your recent past, so it, it explains absolutely this distorted image that we were, you, you were, how you were seeing yourself uh, in the mirror at first, this distorted image, right? Uh, that comes when we uh, are dealing with energies like that, whether it's uh, inside of you or it's in your environment. And uh, <clears throat> maybe you are dealing with shady behavior uh, from people, uh, people actually stealing from you with the Seven of Swords, or maybe uh, your own self-sabotage, because the Seven of Swords can also be to do with uh, 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 you not uh, telling yourself the truth, lying to yourself, basically, or sabotaging yourself. Uh, but we will clarify that in a second. So um, it was making you feel out of balance. Um, Leo, again, this card of overwhelm, uh, you know, being on one foot then on the other, having to juggle uh, these balls to keep them um, in the air, and this feeling of being out of balance, having to deal with uh, uh, too much, again, feeling of overwhelm, uh, like we see here with the Ten of Wands. Um, and um, in your environment, you have uh, the Eight of Pentacles, so you are working on this, Leo. It's exactly like I saw in your vision. Uh, when you stumble upon this uh, mirror and you get it, uh, you, and you see this distorted image uh, inside of it, you don't just throw it away, right? You don't just say, okay, forget it, it's, uh, it, it's you know, effed up. I'm just going to throw it away. You work on it. You find the right, uh, you know, uh, whatever acids, um, chemicals to, uh, uh, you know, make it brand new again and um, 
this is exactly what you're doing uh, here in April and as I said this um, you know time is fluid so this uh, reading can absolutely be going uh, further on in time and so you're working on it uh, very diligently here Leo uh, look at that this guy is really uh, polishing this uh, pentacle he's really crafting it and that's exactly what you're doing you did you know you you didn't let yourself go even though you were fed up you were exhausted you couldn't take you couldn't take it anymore you were jaded you were becoming cynical and bitter but you kept at it and uh, uh, you know and you cleared uh, the um, you cleared this uh, mirror up, you know, you cleaned it up, you're cleaning up your environment here, Leo, absolutely, your hopes and fears is the truth of cup, so it can uh, be uh, um, a romantic uh, connection in your life, a very uh, committed relationship, these uh, divine masculine and feminine have offered each other their cup of love and it uh, you know it's it could be in the midst of healing so it could be to do with a relationship in your life absolutely but it absolutely also could be to do with um any partnership you know any uh, important committed partnership in your life relationships in general uh and so it's you know, in your hopes and fears you're like um <clears throat> you're hoping for healing but you're fearing it's not going to happen right and um, as your outcome, you have the Six of Cups. And uh, so this is a card of nostalgia. You are harking back. You are uh, wanting this um, state of innocence again, Leo, that uh, was evading you here with the Four of Cups, uh, with the Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. You know, all these are challenging energies, um, you know, uh, but you you are absolutely wanting to go back to this innocent idyllic past situation where you feel all this juice about life uh the the ten of cups uh the judgment the ace of swords you know this duality that you have um really wanting uh, to go back to this innocent uh time wh where you uh were engaging uh with enthousi enthusiasm with openness with excitement in life right um i could also be uh, to do with a relationship uh, in the past uh, that is healing here or is coming back into your life uh, could be friendship could be family members could be uh, romantic so let me just um, clarify some of these for you uh, Leo but you're absolutely uh, cle clearing up your act really here uh, Leo in, in April it's like you're working on it and these past energies uh, are leaving uh, with this ace of swords coming up uh, from your subconscious all the way to, to your crown with judgment you know and the ten of cups okay so please spirit uh, can I have a card for the seven of swords a clarifier please <coughs> justice great <coughs> For the five of wands, see what this had to do um, in the past. Knight of Pentacles, another one, please. And the High Priestess, yes. Another uh, one for the Two of Cups, please. Right. And finally, the outcome for Leo, April 2021, for the Six of Cups, the full, wow, <laughs> yes, <laughs> great Leo. So whatever was happening in the past, let's start with the past, you know, this, uh, this, these, uh, this challenging um, energy of the Five of Wands, it had to do with a lack of progress. You couldn't see any progress in the situation, whether it was a romantic relationship or a family situation, a home situation, uh, partnerships, uh, work. It's going to be different for all of you. No progress. And uh, you couldn't uh, see your way out. You couldn't see a way out. You couldn't see a way forward, right? But whatever was happening... Um, a shady behavior or someone stealing from you or actually some self-sabotage uh, pertaining to your own self 
Well, this is coming to an end with justice, a card of Libra, major arcana. You, uh, you know, this balancing that is coming, things are being put to right. The sword of truth that we saw here uh, with the ace of swords as well, you know, this clarity in the mental body, this breakthrough that you're getting, like a breakthrough from all the gunk that was, uh, the, the stickiness that we feel in the past is gone. With, with justice, you know, things are being put to right here in the near future. Um, so uh, the two of cups, you know, it's it was a long journey with the nine of wands, but you have the nine of wands to the ten of wands. So really, this end of a cycle within a partnership, a committed relationship, a family a situation, living situation, or uh, it can absolutely be to do with partnerships in general uh, in your life. You had enough, right? The wounded warrior going from the 9 to the 10, so this is ending, absolutely, and here's the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, absolutely, your element, Leo, you're finding back your mojo, your power, finding back this passion that was eluding you in the past, in this situation, and look at that, <laughs> the Fool, so this new version, Leo 2.0, Whatever was happening, uh, you know, that was showing you as being distorted, this distorted image of you in this old mirror is gone because you've done the work. You've done the work, Leo. You're doing the work here. You are polishing this mirror. You are getting these breakthroughs. Um, resurrection, justice, and the fool leaving all this baggage behind you. Uh, all this baggage all this emotional uh, boredom, the satisfaction, um, you know, uh, everything that was overwhelming you, that wasn't, uh, that was just blocking you uh, from really engaging with your creativity, with your passion, this is gone, and here you are on a new journey, uh, the spirit egging you on, and just uh, ready to take this new leap of faith, look at that, I mean, talk about new beginnings and breakthroughs this beautiful clear vision of yourself that you saw in your mirror uh, and absolutely ready to go uh, finally or, or to go you know uh, <laughs> for your ten of cups so yeah something is gonna give here uh, Leo for you to uh, be able to see yourself completely anew you know, completely renewed, fresh. It's a fresh, clean start for you. So thank you for passing by and I'll see you soon. Bye.